Hello everyone and welcome back. This is part three of three of our James Bond case video. We're just going to do a quick recap of the autographs so far. So first up we have a Sang, Kenneth Sang from Die Another Day. Nadja Regine from Goldfinger. We have a nice Caroline Monroe inscription auto as Naomi. Nice little heart too from The Spy Love Me. We have Mary Stavin. Octopussy. John Reeves Davies from The Living Daylights. Glenn Foster, Quantum of Solace. Jerome Crappa from The Living Daylights. We have a nice inscription of Samantha Bond from The World's Not Enough, Miss Moneypenny. We have Shane Rimmer from The Spy Who Loved Me. Margaret Nolan as Dank Inscription Auto from Goldfinger. We have Colin Salmon from The World Is Not Enough. Carol Ashby from A Few to a Kill. Will Young Lee from Die Another Day. David Hedison from License to Kill. We have another inscription of John Moreno as Luigi Ferrara from For Your Eyes Only. Joaquin Cosio from Quantum of Solace. And our two biggest this break, besides Colin Salmon, will be Brett Eklund from The Man with the Golden Gun and Shirley Eaton from Goldfinger. But all right, let's jump right into box number one of four. Actually, technically, it'll be box number nine overall. But, you know, for this break, it's one of four. First black, Le Chiffre, holy shit! I've seen a thing of this. I don't even know how rare these are. Uh, wow. Wow. Okay, Bond versus Xena Golden Eye. Mm. We have a redemption for a premium silver card. Jinx Doc from Dino Day. I don't know if it's her, though, but it says, Dear Collector, congratulations. A reservation for one James Bond premium silver card will be made in your name when you submit your request. Wow. So, I don't know if it's of her, but we're getting a silver card. I think this this is a card that's actually made with silver. Uh, I don't know if this is one of a case hit. This is S3. Silver 3, but wow, very nice hit. I was hoping for one of these. I didn't know if it's like a set or, but we get a card of silver. And again, I don't know if that's a case hit. Is there a couple cases? There's, um, yeah. Bond Legacy, yep. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, Actor Autographs. Yeah, I honestly don't even know. Yeah. I don't even know the odds of that. So that was actually a pretty cool hit. I'm actually happy of that one there. Our next pack. James Bond. Golden Eye. We have a new red of Rosie Carver from Live and Let Die. I mean, new red if you're watching the other videos. Wow. And it's of Halle Berry. Halle Berry. So, you know, can't go wrong with that. Very nice hit. We have black of Alec Trevelyan. So first silver foil is of Stampa from Tomorrow Never Dies. Again, I am going to look into that and see if that's like a case hit or something. But yeah. Or maybe every couple cases. I don't think they made many of those. So that's pretty cool. We have first black of Emilio Largo. We have our next Bond Legacy card of General Leonid Pushkin from The Living Daylights. This is BL15. <coughs> <coughs> My apologies. So, yeah. Definitely worth looking into if that's a case hit or not. Because if it's not a case hit, it's rarer than a case. Oh, we have Black Dr. Kananga. Live and let die. We have an, another red. I mean, another Bond vs. Villains of Bond vs. Dominic Green. I pulled that one already in our previous break video. And like the second break, we will be saving the autos for last. 
We have General Olaf, Octopussy. We have a new red of Tatiana Romanova. You know, from, from Russia of Love. We have Black James Bond from Russia of Love. We have a cube branch, a new one of, of a Seagull Snorkel from Goldfinger. <clears throat> Silver Redemption Curd. Wow. Cristatos, black. And a Bonita Red, Goldfinger, and For Your Eyes Only. Both of which we have already pulled. We have Felix Slider Black from Thunderbolt. This is actually a new one for me. We have a General Moon Silver Foil. We pulled his autograph earlier today. Well, technically today, but you will... But Wednesday, I should say, again. I'm recording all three videos in one day and uploading them different days, you know. So my apologies on that. We have a Black M from The Spy Who Loved Me and a Black Silver Foil of Ernst Stafford Blofeld on Master's Secret Service. I would say it'd be cool, let's get a Blofeld auto, but there's only like at least one Blofeld alive. Maybe two of Charles Gray's alive, I'm not 100% sure. Because Telly Savalas, unfortunately, and Donald Pleasance, the first two Blofelds are unfortunately deceased. We have another black Morenzi and another red Christmas Jones, which we already have pulled before. You know, we'll just say the odds for the silver foil. We have black Felix Leiter, Goldfinger, and a red Sylvia Trench, Dr. No. So the autographs should be coming up anytime now. Not in this pack, though. We have black James Bond, Moonraker. We have another Bond versus Largo insert, which unfortunately we've already pulled one, maybe two now at this point. That might have been a third. First autographs here. We have James Bond from our Under Majesty's Secret Service Black. And we have a red Tilly Masterson Goldfinger. This is our first red of her, actually. So that's pretty good towards the set. I'm happy. I should have a full 1 to 200 set after this. So it's going to look very nice in my binder. Then the inserts, which is going to be fun to chase. Second autograph here, and it's either a very long autograph, or we might have our next inscription autograph. Should we make sure we didn't get out. We have another James Bond, Black, the Spy Love Me. We have another See the World insert. This is up in Istanbul, Turkey. That is actually our third one overall. We should be getting one more. So four a case. So yeah. Insert chase is not going to be fun. We have another black of Hugo Drax. We have a silver foil. The Cigar Girl. From the world is not enough. Alright so we'll guess we'll get into our first autograph here. We have a black M from Russia of Love. We have our next autograph is a Vekish from The Spy Who Loved Me, played by Nadim Sawala. He was the man who was killed by Jaws when he, you know, bit him on the neck, because that was his killing technique. We have a black of Bill Tanner from GoldenEye. Our next autograph is of Truman Lodge from License to Kill, portrayed by Anthony Stark. And with that box complete, we move on to box overall number 10, number 2, for this break. I mean, you would think they would throw a James Bond autograph in here, right? Have them be like a one Make James Bond's autograph be like a case hit. 
That was probably the smart thing to do. <sighs> wow, we actually just pulled a big autograph, actually. Out of 99. For that black red thing is actually a gold script autograph, too. So I'm actually happy about that one. Um, big name, too. Not James Bond, though. But out of 99... This is number 685 on 99. We have a Judy Dench autograph M from Tomorrow Never Dies. Very cool hit. Very cool hit. Wow. I knew those there were those kind of cards in the product alone. I just didn't think we were going to get one. But Judy Dench autograph. Very nice. I'm happy with that one. Next up, we have Q, Black, and Tiffany Case, red, which I'm pretty sure we had them both already. So, yeah. And that autograph being that early in a box, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a bonus autograph. We have James Bond, Skyfall. We have our next Q Branch card. The Slot Machine Ring from Diamonds Are Forever. <clears throat> Right. Our next black is of Blofeld. And we have another silver. Our next silver is of Mr. White from Quantum of Celeste. So this is probably going to be a three autograph box. Which is very nice to have. We have M, black. And another Bond versus Dr. No insert. <clears throat> so that's our second one of those. We have Francisco Scaramanga, black. We have our next legacy card is of Q from Skyfall. And the only reason I'm putting my hand on the back of them is because, you know, those cards are acetate, so you can at least see the picture a lot better. Speaking of Q, we got his black, Skyfall. We have, ooh, we have Mr. Kid Silver Foil from Diamonds Are Forever. We pulled Mr. Wint in the last break video. So now we got the assassins, Mr. Wint and Mr. Kid. Were they gay? We don't know, but they had homosexual tendencies with each other, so yeah. Never confirmed, though, to my knowledge. We have Kamal Khan again. And we have Miss Moneypenny from GoldenEye, which... Don't know if that's a new one of her. Not 100% sure. We have Renard from Rural Sunov. We also have a black silver foil of Dr. No from Dr. No. James Bond, black, Skyfall. Jinx Red, Dinella Day, which I quickly showed those because we already hit numerous James Bond Blacks, and that is our second Jinx. Another Dr. Kananga. We have Cameron Shaw from The Living Daylights, Silver Foil. Jaws Black from If I Love You or I Have It. I just love it. Oh, thanks. Who's here? It's Taro Red. Dr. No. Not bad. That's probably a pretty cool auto. Judy Dench, M. Of Waste 99. of money. Waste of money, he says. Yeah. Hmm. Did I film all this? Yep. Lame. We will blur his face out. <clears throat> anyway, we have a black James Bond. Living Daylights and ooh. Oh yeah, now Bond versus Blofeld from Spectre again. Our autograph should be coming up anytime soon. Another Cristatos black. An M from Skyfall Redwoods. Actually, might be a new one. Before we continue on, we are going to remove a 
bunch of these commons. Stack there. Along with that there. As we go into our last four packs, we do have some Wendy's for dinner tonight, so that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. It's a good day. Yes, it is. We have an L Black M, the Spy Love Me. And ooh, a new one. We have James Bond versus Ernst Staffro Blofeld in Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Bond versus Villains. So that's a new one, so that's pretty cool. No auto yet. Another black Morenzi. And another red BB doll. So there are autos are in these last two packs. So yeah. Hot packs. We have black gold finger. And we do have a fill-in who got the boot. We have Necros from The Living Daylights, played by Andreas Wisniewski. And our final autograph in this box. So there should be a third one. Nope. So I guess we didn't get a third auto, but we do have Dr. No, black. And we do have our next See the World insert of Himeji Japan. So yeah. So I guess we only did get two autos out of box. No bonus auto. That's all right. We all can't always be greedy, right? Throw those there as we get our next box open. Overall, box number 11. You know, the one autograph I've wanted, we can still get it, but there's only one autograph I really wanted. That was Pierce Brosnan's over anyone else. Max Zorn, black. We have a silver foil of Henry Gupta from Tomorrow Never Dies. I mean, I would have took a Brosnan on over Connery on, to be honest, because Brosnan is my favorite Bond. But beggars can't be choosers. We have a black Bill Tanner and a red Tatiana Romanova. We have a black M from From Russia of Love and a black silver foil of Elliot Carver from Tomorrow Never Dies. We have a black James Bond, License to Kill, and another Sylvia Trench. That might actually be our third one of her, maybe. I think we're due for a couple more acetates, too, I think. Red. I meant black Felix Slater, Thunderball. We have an LQ branch, slot machine ring again, unfortunately. Try to you know, make the least decent room here. Black James Bond, Spy Love Me, Red Rosie Carver, Live and Let Die. More doubles and triples and quads of blacks and doubles of red. Right, we have a black Felix Slater, gold finger, and we have our next legacy card. We have Asian Fields, some Quantum of Celeste. Where's Gemma Arteton, redhead. Very nice looking, very nice. Pretty sure she's an actual redhead too. And I do have a weakness for redheads. All right, we have black James Bond, live and let die. Silver Patrice Skyfall. The Black James Bond Moonraker. Another Bond versus Kaufman. We pulled him in the first or second video. We have our next acetate though. We have Agent Fields, Quantum of Salas. As a take card for the bounty program, which again I need to try and chase. Rest in peace wallet. 
Black, Felix Slater, Quantum Celeste. Red, Colonel Rosa Kleb from Russia of Love, which I believe is our second one of her. We have another autograph in there. Ends of a chur, so unfortunately I might be able to find out who it is if I see him in here. Black Blofeld, Spectre. And another Bond for Le Chiffre. Might be our third one, actually. Felix Slater, Dr. No, Black. Teresa Draco, Red. Actually, the autograph ended in sure, actually. So it could be anyone, actually, I think. Second autograph's there. We, we have a General Orloff, Black. We have another See the World, though. I don't think I was expecting this one. We have Franz. Paris Franz, from A Few to a Kill. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I was expecting that one. So it helps. We have Emilio Largo, black, black. We have the bull from the world is not enough, silver foil. Last two packs before we get to our autograph hits. Black, James Bond from Russia of Love. Another red, Tilly Madison, Goldfinger. Black Le Chiffre. And another Bond for his villains of Rosa Kleb. Again, which sucks, but you know, that must mean we might have to set. Alright. We go Black, Hugo Drax, Moonraker again. And we have an autograph of Bill Tanner, Golden Eye, portrayed by Michael Kitchen. As for our next autograph. Ooh, I actually see a picture of it on when they were advertising it. We have our black James Bond. We have an autograph of Professor Joe Butcher, Licensed to Kill, portrayed by Wayne Newton. Yeah, I know. He's one of the autographs I was, like, showing early in the set. Like, when they're, like... Advertising the product. Alright, our last box. Last chance for a bras and auto. I think this out like that. Come on, Pierce Bras and Autograph. We have Black Q, Goldfinger, Silver, a DEA Agent Hawkins, License to Kill. We have an autograph there. Might be a bonus autograph. Black Kamal Khan. We have a Felix Leiter legacy card from Casino Royale. Who knows? Might be a triple autograph box. Bernard Black. We have our next last final acetate of BB Doll for your eyes only. We have a new Bond versus Villains. We have James Bond versus Nick Girls in the Living Daylights. So that's good. Black Blofeld. We have a new red. We have Camille from Quantum Solas. That's good. That'll definitely help the base set. Which again. Hopefully we can finish. Otherwise there will be tr probably trades. With other people who open this stuff. Black M. Spectre. We have, to, we have the Q branch insert of a flamethrower big pipe from The World is not enough. 
I'm just doing one side here. I know what the autographs look like, so at least keep an eye out. We have James Bond, Black, Living Daylights. And we have a silver foil of Kincaid from Skyfall. Red, I mean, we have Black of Red Grunt, which I love. And we have the original M Money Penny, Lois Maxwell, Octopussy Red. I think that's actually our first one of her. Black. Okay, right. we have Order Goldfinger Black. We have a new Bond versus Villains. We have James Bond versus Mr. Hinks and Spectre. We have black Doc No Doc No. We have a new red, I believe. We have Jill Masterson from Goldfinger. Okay. Slide these out of the way. Now we move on to our little final packs of this James Bond case break. Elliot Carver. Black. We have a silver foil of Mr. Hinks from Spectre. Now the black of Whitaker. This, where, this is our second one of her. We have Bond versus Blowfield and Honor Majesty's Secret Service. Our second insert of that one. We have Blofeld Black from You Only Live Twice. We have a new red. We have Severin from Skyfall. So I'm thinking we might have the full 1 to 200 set from this case, which is good. We have Kronstein Black. We have a Jaws Black Silver Foil from, of course, the Spy Who Loved Me. Four more packs left to open. We already have five all together with that autograph, but you know. We have a black Koskoff again, but we have a new red. We have Andreas Anders from The Man with the Golden Gun. Maude Adams, who also would go on to portray Octopussy in the movie Octopussy. our next autograph and apparently it's an inscription autograph we have another see the world insert we have black felix lighter we have see the world las vegas united states from the movie diamonds are forever so i'm actually happy of that insert all right our last pack before we get to the autographs we have a black Blofeld. We have a new red of Anya Amazova from The Spy Who Loved Me. All right, so that is it. Besides, you know, two more black parallels, so we'll move that out of the way. We're done with the red parallels, though, so hopefully we have enough to complete the set. And let's get our first of two autographs done. We have a black Jaws. And we have an inscription autograph, which means I do have an autograph for trade or sale. But we have Commander Carter, the spy who loved the inscription of Shane Rimmer. And I will show you, I mentioned this before when I pulled that Caroline Monroe about inscription autos. Yeah, see, so there are inscription auto parallels. I am not going crazy. So this autograph will probably be for trade or for sale. And our final autograph. We have Black Rory. Black Tenor. Rory Kinnear. It's of Yusuf Kabira from Quantum of Solace. Portrayed by Simon 
Cassianitis. So, unfortunately, autograph-wise, it wasn't the best of cases, though we do have some pretty decent autographs I like. So, yeah. We'll just move these comments out of the way. We did get that Silver Redemption card. But again, not 100% sure if that's a case set or if it's rarer than a case. So, we'll go off of what we got. So, Yusuf. So, we have autograph of Simon Cassianitis. Is all right. Shane Rimmer, which was decent. Shane Rimmer inscription was a lot better. Wayne Newton was decent. Michael Kitchen was all right. Uh, Andreas Wisniewski was not bad. I guess he, at least he was a fill-in. The Judy Danjot in 99 was pretty huge. Truman Lodge, you know, Anthony Stark was all right. Uh, Nadim Sawala was all right. Shirley Eaton was actually probably one of the better ones too, so you can't go wrong with that. Same thing with Brett Eklund. Uh, Josuin Cosillo, so-and-so. We can never go wrong with, you know, inscription autos of John Moreno. David Hedison, Jack Leiter. It's all right. We Young Lee, I would have preferred personally Gustav Graves, but, you know, it's all right. Uh, Carol Ashby, I honestly don't remember her. Charles Robinson is actually all right. Colin Salmon Auto is all right. Can't go wrong with that. Dink Auto, you know, inscription of Margaret Nolan. Samantha Bond, you know, Miss Money Penny. It's not bad of an autograph either. Jerome Crape. Crapa, it's alright. Glenn Foster is another one of the weaker ones. Same thing as John Reese Davies. Mary Stavin, again, if she doesn't even have a name, it's, you know, not that strong. Caroline Monroe inscription auto I actually really like. Nadja Regine, again, I can't remember her, to be honest. And, of course, Kenneth Desang was, again, not right. But that is all our autographs from our case, uh, James Bond. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Probably maybe a bit better than I did. Still, that Judy Dench was nice. And, of course, again, we can't forget the Silver Redemption. A very cool card. But thank you guys for watching these videos of me, and I will see you all next time. Take care.